Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase here at Rocky Mountain. Thank you so much for checking in. So this is our 2023 Dual Sport Adventure Boot Buyer's Guide. Now in this category for Dual Sport Adventure, there isn't really one perfect boot that's gonna be great for everybody because there's a lot of different types of riders. Some riders are spending more time on the asphalt. Some riders are looking for more comfort because they're in their boots all day long. Some riders are looking for more protection, more support. So I promise you though that during this guide, out of the five boots that we have up here, there will be one up here that's going to fit your needs. Now, if you have questions, comments, leave those down below. And remember too, that we do have product spotlights on these where I go into full detail. So make sure to give those a watch when we're all done here to learn a little bit more about each one of these boots. Now, that being said, let's start out with the first two. So the first two are the MSR Adventure and the Alpine Stars Corazol. These are our two top picks for the rider looking for all day comfort. If you spend a ton of time in the saddle both on and off the bike so if you're gonna be wearing your boots when you're just walking around a lot during the day you're gonna need a boot that's gonna be comfortable for that and these are our two picks and the reason for that is that they're both full grain leather both waterproof liners they both offer great protection but they have the softest or the most flex in their sole and so when you're off the bike walking around it's gonna cater to that giving you just better comfort now keep in mind that with more flex in the sole, it's not gonna give you as much support as the other three boots up here. So therefore, they're not gonna be as good or as supportive if you're doing some aggressive off-road riding. So that is one thing to keep in mind. But again, for just all day comfort, it's really hard to beat these two options. With the MSR Adventure, you can't beat the price. You're just north of 200 bucks, full grain leather, great buckle design. And with the Alpine Stars Corazol, you do go up in price, but one notable difference here is that you do have their biomechanical hinge on the lateral side. So it is going to offer a little bit more lateral support for the rider's ankle. Now, both of these do have a lug sole. Another notable difference here is that with the Corazol, you can see you kind of have the raised arch, so more like a hiking sole. With the Adventure from MSR, you don't have that. It's just a flat sole. And the reason that they did that was to help promote the best foot placement possible on your foot pegs. But again, if you're just looking for all day comfort on the bike and off, these two are really good options. Now, right here in the middle, this is the CD Adventure 2 Gore-Tex. And this is kind of what we consider the pinnacle of the dual sport adventure boot. One of the most well-rounded that is out there. In fact, we have a rider here at Rocky Mountain that's had these for, oh gosh, I think four or five seasons now. He's put thousands of miles in them. They've held up awesome. And here's a couple of the reasons why we put this as like the best overall boot is because the sole, it's stiff enough that if you're doing aggressive off-road riding, it gives you enough support to where your feet aren't gonna be hurting you. But it also does have just enough flex that if you're off the bike walking around, it's gonna give you enough flex to do that as well. But also you look at it here, you've got a hinged ankle on the lateral and the medial side, so it's more supportive, more protection than the first two. And you have the Gore-Tex waterproof liner on here, so you could argue that this the CD does have the best waterproofing of all the boots that is up here. So, like I said, for us, it's just super well-rounded. It does everything well. So, if you know you're a rider that might spend all day long in your boot, so you're looking for great comfort, but also doing more aggressive off-road riding all at the same time, this could be a phenomenal option. All right, now the last two that we have are the Garnet Fastback Enduro and the Tech 7 Enduro Dry Start. Now, these are going to be for the more aggressive riders. I'm talking if you're a dual sport guy and you're doing trail riding and then on your adventure rides, if you're getting pretty rowdy and you're just looking for the most protection, the most support possible, these would be really good options. Now, keep in mind, these are basically just motocross boots that can also be used in that dual sport adventure market. And with the Fastback Enduro, this is their off-road boot, but they gave you the brown leather option just for that, you know, the riders that don't want any sort of flashy colors. But the sole on these two they're motocross soles, so they are very, very stiff. So these are not going to be ideal if you're spending you know, all day long in the boot. They're just not going to give you as much comfort as the first three up here, especially if you're off the bike walking around. But again, if you're looking for just a full-blown off-road boot that's going to have a lug sole, it's going to be, they're going to be really good options. In fact, we have a rider here who used this Fastback Enduro on a thousand mile adventure ride. He said he absolutely loved them. He loved how much protection support he got, but yes, just weren't that great if you're spending a lot of time off the bike. Now, keep in mind with the Fastback Enduro, only thing to be mindful of is that it does not have a waterproof liner. Now, last one up here. This is the Tech 7 Enduro Dry Star. So again, like the Garnet, it's an off-road motocross boot. You do have the lug sole. 
but this has been one of the best selling kind of mid-level motocross boots for years now at Rocky Mountain because it's a super comfortable boot. Now keep in mind again, very stiff sole, but what's nice about the Tech 7 Enduro Dry Star is the waterproof liner that you are getting. So if you're a, a dual sport trail rider looking for a waterproof boot, this is a really good option. But we also, again, we've had multiple riders here at Rocky Mountain that have done several adventure rides wearing the Tech 7 and they've loved how they performed on, the ri on those rides. So again, for aggressive riders looking for the most support, the most protection, these two would be our two top picks. So one thing I will point out, and this kind of going back to Fitman, I've tried all these boots on. They're all comfortable. They all fit true to size. We do have our fit guarantee. So if you get one of these, if you're not happy with how they fit, you can send them back in brand new unused condition and we will make sure you get the right size and we'll give you free shipping both ways on that first exchange. But with these last two, what you need to be mindful of is just the size of these at the opening. They're both going to be larger at the opening than the first three. So depending on what pants you have, if you have an over the boot style pant, some riders might have difficulty getting their, their pants to go over these boots. So that is one thing just to be mindful of. But that is it. That's our 2023 Dual Sport Adventure Boot Buyer's Guide. So if you have questions, comments, again, leave those down below. I'd love to hear which one of these you have. So again, comment that as well. And then to pick yours up and to see all the other Dual Sport Adventure boots that we have, click on the link or head over to RockyMountHVMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you want to stay up to date on videos like this, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit the notification bell, and that way you're always going to stay up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails. Thank you.